thanks for being here. Ladies and gentlemen, it was a historic day in Washington yesterday because House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi made a speech in support of undocumented immigrants, and the speech was a record-breaking eight hours long. Eight, yeah, don't worry if you missed it. She's gonna release it as five separate Netflix specials. <laughs> don't tell me what happens. I'm gonna binge watch it this weekend. <laughs> Here's what's even more amazing. Nancy Pelosi is 77 years old. But by the end of the speech, she was 79. But <laughs> she's 77 years old. She spoke for eight hours. I'm 39. I've been out here 75 seconds. Honestly, I could use a sit down. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. In other congressional news, uh, tensions between Republicans and Democrats on the House Intelligence Committee have become so strained, and this is true, they are building a literal wall down the middle of their office to separate the two sides. If you're wondering, no, Mexico won't be paying for this one either. <laughs> each... <laughs> Just a wall down the middle. Now, each party has their own reasons for building the wall. Democrats say... Kevin on the Republican side keeps microwaving fish for lunch. <laughs> and Republicans are mostly afraid Nancy Pelosi will corner them in the break room and talk to them for eight hours. <laughs> Moving on to White House news, I don't know if you saw this, a photo started circulating yesterday after Trump's staff secretary, Rob Porter, was forced to resign. The photo is of Porter and four other staffers who have all been fired from the White House in the past year. Take a look, look at this, look at those five, all fired from the White House. Everyone in that photo went straight from trying to cut employment benefits to trying to collect employment benefits. <laughs> but look at the five of them. That photo, it looks like an album cover for a band called Buffoon Five. <laughs> Now, no one in that photo is currently working in the Oval Office, and neither is anyone in this photo. Um, <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> yeah, uh, here's a story just in time for Valentine's Day. A restaurant in Boston is offering a $3,000 burger that comes with an engagement ring on the bun. Yeah. <laughs> This is for the romantic man who's like, <laughs> you know what, I'll just let the burger joint pick out the ring. It'll be fine. <laughs> Imagine the panic of the guy that sits down at that restaurant and his girlfriend's like, I think I'm just gonna have a salad tonight. <laughs> I think you should get the burger. No, I'm gonna get a salad. Get the burger, Carol! <laughs> get, forget it! Um, also, if you're already married and things aren't going so well, for dessert, there's a banana split with a divorce settlement in it. <laughs> <laughs> the lady up there clapped a little too vigorously. <laughs> she had her husband's like... <laughs> and finally, uh, Chipotle claims that because of the new Republican tax plan, it's going to give employees one-time bonuses of between $250 and $1,000 to all their employees. So congratulations, Chipotle employees. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Quite a thing. You can now afford guac. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, I should have, this is... <laughs> this is way better than the gift Chipotle gave their employees last year, E. coli. <laughs> um, <laughs> but bonuses for everyone. This is really great news. This is, comes at a great time, because this is great news for Chipotle's five newest employees. <laughs> 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 <laughs>